All right. Story time. Now, it's been two days since this happened to me. I figured I'd calm down a little bit before I make this video. A friend of mine who's in his early 70s, he's 71, 72, somewhere around there. I've known him for a, a good 10 years, solid 10 years, give or take. I didn't write the date down when I met him. But uh, his, ha his house caught on fire about a year ago, maybe a year and a couple of months, right after he had just moved in. Matter of fact, I'm the one that moved him from his apartment to in his new house, all his furniture and belongings. I'm the man that moved it in for him. <laughs> and uh, shortly after he moved into his new home, his roommate's friend caught the house on fire with a cigarette on the porch. So, insurance company put him into a hotel for a month, then had to relocate him to another hotel for another month. So that's two months in a hotel he's had to live in at his age. And he don't get around too well. He's not this type of seven-year-old that's in good condition by any means. He's the type of seven-year-old that should be sitting in hospice somewhere, but I don't know why he's not. Anyway, after two months of a hotel, the insurance company finally finds him an apartment. So he lives in this apartment for a year. A year goes by. He calls me up. He said the construction company named Paul Davis was the name of the construction company in Savannah, Georgia, called him up and told me he's ready to move in. That got pushed back. He first said it was ready, gonna be ready August 1st. That got pushed back three weeks. So he called me last weekend Called three times. I called on Sunday night to confirm. Monday, right? Okay, moving in on Monday. Somebody at that construction company told him he can move in on Monday. Today is Wednesday morning. I was over there Monday getting everything out of his apartment, loading it on my trailer, the couch, the bed, the dresser drawers, the, the cabinets, with the, you name it. I was loading it up on my truck and trailer. Double axle, 16 foot. I pull it over there to his new house. Fucking house not even done yet. No electric, no plumbing, no toilet, no air condition. The house looks like it's going to need another six months before it's even finished. I would, I would like to know the name of the person and their phone number at Paul Davis Construction Company in Savannah, Georgia. Which person told him to move in on Monday? Because I had the whole trailer loaded down, ready to move in. That motherfucker owes me some money for the inconvenience of having to take half the shit back to his apartment. I had to bring his bed back and his sofa back so his roommate can, so they can sleep in the apartment. I thought they were ready to move into the house. It's been a year. Which one of you complete idiots at uh, Paul Davis uh, Construction Company in Savannah, Georgia is the one that told my friend to move in. He's ready to move in. The house not even done yet. That's right. You a complete fucking idiot. You need to you need to uh, be taken for a boat ride. That's right. 